Hello eye tracking community, my name is Michael and in this video I will show you how to read the thoughts of the participants in your eye tracking experiment. On the screen we can see a scan path visualization of this experiment. Participants had to find the bars labeled with H and B and had to compare the heights of these, well, of these bars and had to state the value of the bar with the greater value. For analyzing now the mental processes, we have defined several areas of interest covering all task relevant areas on the stimulus. So an AOI for every label, an AOI for the bar peaks, and an AUI for the y-axis. For reading now the thoughts of your participants or in scientific terms to analyze the cognitive processes, we will use the parallel scan path visualization. On the right you can see the PSP visualization for P1 and on the left side you can see a classical scan path visualization. In the PSP visualization, time is running from top to bottom. Please follow the fixation on the stimulus and compare it here with these labels in the PSP visualization. So first we have a fixation on label H, then on label D, on label E, on label D, on label H and then we find a stair going from the left to the right over the different labels until the participant has found label B. Then the participant is going back to label H then to bar B peak so up to the top of the bar to the peak of the bar and then to the other peak and then to the y-axis to state the value. In the PSP visualization we can see 20 seconds of thinking of this participant. The longer the vertical lines are, the longer the participant has focused on an area and has processed the information there. The more transitions we have, so between the different columns, the more eye movements between task relevant areas the software found. Next we want to visualize the mental processes of all the participants. So I delete the scan path visualization, I activate all the participants, I zoom out and here we can see now how these participants have performed the given task and when we remember what I've said one minute before, so we can see these stairs going from left to right, from right to left, we have these long transitions here and most of them finally end somewhere here on the left reading the y-axis. And with this visualization you can visualize the mental processes of your participants, you can read the thoughts of your participants during the experiment. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel, share it with your community and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.